next project. Like I said, I was working on Rugrats. So I created this design in silhouette, a full t-shirt design. And I pulled a all over, there's an all over t-shirt, free t-shirt design template on my website. Um, and I'm using that one to create this shirt. This is going to be a size three t-shirt, I think. Um, I just usually to, because my my does my template doesn't have a template for uh, three t-shirts and two t and you know baby shirts. What I do is I measure the shirt from tip to tip and get a measurement, and then measure the shirt from collar to the bottom, and then I get a measurement for that. And I just shrink a, a template down or enlarge it or whatever I need to do to create to create this design. And as you can see, it has the sleeves here. This is the collar, but you know, it really doesn't need it. So, and I take two eight and a half by 11s and I attach them and I make sure that they line up as perfectly as I can get them to that. So when I press it, it'll be seamless. And I put it together and I create a 3D t-shirt, uh, full, full front t-shirt design. And I created this solely in Silhouette Studio. It was, I never, I have Affinity Designer. I've tried to learn how to use it. I am going to master it. Just at this period in time, I really don't have the time to sit down and master it because there's a lot of gradients. There's a lot of bevels. There's a lot of other stuff that I really want to learn how to use it to make my designs pop off the shirt more. But this was created solely in uh, Silhouette and I'm going to do videos on how I create these. This is, has a gradient background, as you can see. I add little, little 80s elements. All the kids are basically a PNG, each one. I stack them on top of the cell, put Tommy on the front, like he's spraying them. And like I said, just a bunch of PNGs I stuck together, added some little accent pieces in here. I learned that from Nate Labs. Shout out to Nate Labs. Um, she's another, she's somebody I really, um, look at I think her name is Shannon I love her she does great Photoshop tutorials 10 minute tea so if you have an opportunity to stop by Innate Labs and look at some of her stuff on YouTube it's amazing this is how I learned about what's in the foreground what's in the background what are accent um, pieces that I put inside my shirts and then I create this in silhouette um, this is a 19 by 13 paper and two eight and a halves and then I put it together I have done it where I'm, I'm gonna do a medium one too I'm gonna videotape me taping the medium um, a youth medium together and I used uh, three 13 by 19 to put that one together I'm gonna show you that one soon but this one let's go to the heat press so y'all can see what it looks like <clears throat> okay all right so Going over to my heat press here. As you see, I got my board, I got my shirt on it. It's already been rolled. If y'all can kind of see that. And now you can kind of see that when I lay my shirt out and kind of flatten it out. I'm doing this with one hand, so y'all bear with me. It covers the entire shirt. It covers it. And as you can see, I have limited amount of space. I have a wall here. I have a hat cut press here. I have a, a 15 by 15 heat press here. Don't mind my mess. I'm working hard tonight. It's gonna be a long night. Got a lot of stuff to do. This should have been done a long time ago, but <sighs> coronavirus and being trapped in this house, it's going stir crazy and it's just not, it's just not the move right now and I'm tired. But at any rate, <clears throat> it covers the entire shirt. And as you can see like here, I check it to make sure it gets all the edges. It gets all the edges here. It may leave out the tip of this shirt. So let me see if I break it down. Will it get it all? I got all of that one. But is it getting all of this one? It's missing this shirt. Missing that tip, tip. See, I'm, this is what I'm looking at. See? So up here, when I fold the paper back, I'm getting it all the way to the tip. But on this side, when I fold the paper back, 
I'm not getting the tip over here. So I'm gonna make some adjustments and make sure I get all the tip. And if I don't get the tip, it's fine. It's the tip end of the shirt. It's not that big of a deal, but I try to cover as much as I can. Just getting all of the bottom. I'm cutting off deal a little bit. I don't wanna cut off that much deal. You see, my shirt is up there. I'm only gonna get Deal's face, Angelica's face, Spike's face. I'm not gonna get much of anything just because the shirt is so little. So, but it's fine though. If you hear my dog barking, ignore her. It's probably a squirrel or a rabbit in the yard and she has no idea how to not bark at a squirrel or a rabbit. <clears throat> okay, so when I press this, I start this way and I just slide it over and I just come down and I lock it into place and we leave it there for 70. I got my heat press gets extremely hot so I don't have to bump it all the way up to 400. 380, 385 is pretty good for me for 70 seconds and that pretty much knocks out get, get my color right where I need to be um, <clears throat> and yeah so once I do that I'll slide it over I'll slide, the, slide it over try my best not to move anything you could tape all this I've been doing this so long that I really don't use a cutting tape I don't have a tape heat tape roller I'm gonna invest in that it's just so expensive and really not worth it so if I can get away with not taping it completely down I don't but if you want to tape it completely down you can but it's just a lot of aggravation to take the whole entire thing down so it doesn't move I just know to let the heat press up really slow and once I let the heat press up really slow make sure there's no shifting I slide it over and make sure I don't shift it either and that's how I don't get blurred marks or anything like that so we're gonna let this finish pressing as you see I got about 15 16 more seconds on it um, sometimes I pop it early because it really doesn't need to be all the way through but if not I let it run all the way down and get it and, and get it all but I think I'm gonna go ahead on and just pop this one before it starts screaming and so see I slowly let it up let the steam off let the steam off and I'm just gonna slide this whole little thing down till I get to the wall close it back down ah. and I got all of the shirt this is what I'm checking like oh uh, did I get all of the sleeve and I did I got the sleeve I got the whole sleeve sorry that this is a little dark one of my light bulbs blue that's over my head and my lamp over here really doesn't help me out but it's okay we go we can rock this like I said tonight is a long night I got baby shark work rats everywhere this is what tonight's gonna look like this is the back design I just put two, two to it. I cut it out, slap it on the back. So we're gonna be done with that. This is the three. This is oh yeah. Let's go do this. Let's go do this. While this is doing, while this is pressing, let's go do this. The this one. So I may have to run back some heat press. So as you can see, this is one side. That's one side. This is the other side, and this is the bottom. So you see how I kind of did that? Now they're overlapping, and it'll create one big shirt. So I'm going to try my best to show you how I do this. Okay, maybe you can see it a little bit better now. See that? So see one side, the other side, and then the bottom side. So I'm going to put that together and and use three pieces. I usually don't use three pieces, but I want this one to be full, full on. So I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go pop the heat press and then I'll come back. All right, I think I got camera pretty much straight. So you guys can see. And I'm going to walk around so y'all can see me. Okay. So what I do is, first off, I decide how I'm going to, how I'm going to lay them. So am I gonna put this on top? Probably because it got more Tommy's face on this one. Um, and see, these are cutting his face in half and 
everything else. So more than likely, I'm gonna go ahead and then have this, this cross point right here in the front. So first thing I do is, <clears throat> I cut off these white tabs right here. Because I'm gonna lay this one on top of the other. So I'm gonna cut this all the way down. Because if you leave that, it's gonna leave a white line in the middle of your shirt if this is on the top feel free to cut into the if you cut into a face it doesn't matter you're overlapping it anyway so this is another thing i do i go ahead on got my heat tape right here so i go ahead since i know i'm gonna lay this on top of this one i put the tape on this one. Take this tape. This is what I mean by heat tape. I, mean, I love, I have a love hate relationship with heat tape. Make sure it's not folding up on you. Make sure it's straight. Oh my God, that was horrible. This is so you can take it down, okay? Okay, so we're gonna go back and tape it for real. So now that I got this like this, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna match this up here. And I got it all the way to the R. So let's just, and you gotta be mindful of everything that's going is Susie nose uh, lined up, it's Tommy's mouth and tongue lined up. Like you gotta be mindful of all of that. Like, and then once you do that, you take it down. So you make sure now that you got everything lined up. Go back here, flip it over, press that down. Make sure it's down really good. Press it down. Okay. So that's top part of the shirt. Now for the bottom part. Since we're going to lay this piece on top of this piece, we're going to cut. And like I said, keep in mind, I use 13 by 19 sheets. I didn't, I don't have it on the roll. I don't have to use ASAP paper, nothing different. However, I am going to switch to Hammer Mills regular paper if I can. And um, use that sometimes too on projects that I really don't want to charge a lot for. So as you see, I immediately got Tommy lined up. I got Lil, I got, I got Reptar, I got everybody lined up. But I did not put any tape at the bottom. So now we gotta go back and do that. I'm just gonna cut a little bit of shift it off here. Just because I don't want to put that much tape all the way across. Just cut a little bit. Put some of this excess off. Especially since I put over a minimal amount of space. Put some of this texture off here. Put it over here. Same thing with these two. And I'm going to take it on in the front. in the right place and I just do what I just did again. I go ahead and I try not to press too soon because that'll happen. Try not to press too, too, too soon but then it'll get stuck. So I just kind of lift it up a little bit and then make sure you got everything 
We got Reptile lined up here. We got Lil's hand. We gotta get her hand lined up over here. Her cheek. some more tape you can I don't <clears throat> this one is a little bit bigger I may actually add some tape to the corners of this one once I pick out the mat and then again I may not just pins and so now as you see one whole big seamless looking design you see here got my creases here but once I press it won't see it. Four 3D print on a used medium shirt using three 13 by 9 things. This is the front. This is how it looks in the front. This is how it looks in the back. Alright, let's go press it. 